My name is Natalie Immel and I'm an Ayurvedic practitioner at Joyful Belly and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of our favorite recipes for pacifying vata on Joyful Belly and that's called roasted rice with dates, cinnamon, and cardamom. Now if you like these kind of recipe videos and you'd like to see more, please be sure to subscribe to our channel down below and like this video. Now without further ado, let's get on into the cooking. Now to make this recipe, you will need one cup of basmati rice, four whole pitted dates that you've chopped, one tablespoon of ghee, or you can use more if you're about to constitution or you just want to use more ghee, a quarter teaspoon of cardamom, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and two pinches of salt, and three cups of filtered water. Now to start, I'm going to turn my heat source on to medium and add my saucepan to the stove and start melting that ghee so I can begin the rice roasting process. I'm going to add my rice to the pan and just be stirring it regularly for the next few minutes. This is what's going to give the dish a nice distinctive nutty flavor and that's exactly what we want. Now depending on your constitution, you're going to roast this for either two to five minutes. If you want something a little bit mushier, you may be a vata constitution. You can do it closer to two minutes, or if you want a drier result like I do, you can do it for the full five minutes. That's really to your preference. You can see that the rice is starting to get a bit of a golden hue, which is exactly what we want. Now I'm going to add my vata pacifying spices to this, as well as my dates and start stirring them around with the roasted rice, making sure everything's well coated. It should be nice and fragrant, smells like fall. I love the dates in this recipe. I feel like it gives it just a nice sweetness without being too overpowering. Now we're gonna add our water, turn the heat up, cover it, and bring it to a boil. Now that everything's boiling, I'm just gonna give it a nice stir before we start the actual cooking process, just to make sure everything's combined. lid back on to my pot, lower the heat to low, and set a timer for 20 minutes. Now my 20 minute timer is up, so I'm going to turn off the heat, just take a look at everything. This smells so good right now, nice and fragrant. What I'm actually going to do though is I'm going to return the lid, set my timer for an additional 5 minutes just to give the rice some time to set basically. I find that when I remember to do this final step, it really helps the grains to stay intact when I go to stir it. I'm going to just gently fluff this with a fork and we are ready to serve this. Whether to yourself or to the vatas in your life. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Now in the description box down below, I'm going to leave a link to this recipe on Joyful Belly so you can print it off if you'd like. And if you would, in the comment section down below, leave me a comment about what you like to do to pacify your vata in the fall. Thank you so much for watching and have a joyful belly.